Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the JJRC H20 or H2O. It's the water quad or water hex, I don't know. Um, but basically, you know, everybody has been coming out with these little hexacopters now. So this is JJRC's version. Um, however, I wouldn't call this one a nano. I think this is a little bit more like the ultra micro size where it's in between a nano and a micro. Uh, most notably by the fact that it has a swappable battery, which tends to be, you know, what they do with the ultra micros versus nanos where they're built in. Uh, so this is the first little hex with the uh, swappable battery, so that's pretty cool and unique. And it is a 150 milliamp hour battery. Get that to focus in. There we go. 150 milliamp hour 1S LiPo, and again, you know, swappable, so you just slide it in there, and then there's a plug in the back there, so pretty cool to see a swappable battery. Uh, looks like there is no on-off switch, so... Yeah, I forget exactly now. I think once, yeah, once you plug it in, it's it's ready to go. And the LEDs are just on the board there, so you've got two blue in the front and two red in the back. There's no LEDs out on the arms or anything. Uh, so not too helpful for orientation. I mean, you do have the two different colored props. That helps a little bit. I would have liked to see them go all out and actually change the prop guards to make the prop guards white in the front just to help. Because uh, with these little hexes, orientation can get pretty hard because, you know, you just got props and motors everywhere. So it can get a little bit hard to tell what's front and back. Um, though the actual design of this, you know, the, the body itself has a little bit of positioning to it, you know, so you've got the longer back legs in the front. Uh, so just, you know, the design of it itself sort of helps with orientation a little bit. Uh, let's see, we've got a USB charging cable, a screwdriver, and a full set of spare props, all six of them. Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and the uh, charge time on the 150 milliamp hour battery is about 35 minutes and you get about a four minute flight with a one minute long LVC warning. So a really long LVC warning and about five minute total flight time. Uh, the transmitter is kind of like the, uh, you know, that nano transmitter style, but a little bit bigger. So ultra micro transmitter, I guess. So, you know, not bad. It fits in the hands pretty decently and works well enough for pinching or thumb flyers. Uh, we hit the left bumper to change rates and it has three different rates and it has a changing yaw rate that is pretty fast. So a good fast yaw rate, I think probably the fastest I've seen on a, on a little hexacopter so far. Uh, right bumper and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want to do flips. And then this one also has uh, return to home by clicking the right stick and headless mode by clicking the left stick. And that return to home just uses headless mode to try to return to home so it's not overly reliable. Um, let's see. Oh, on, on, on high rates, the yaw rate is just insane on this. It actually kind of goes into like this stunt mode. Um, so on high rates, it's really, really fast yaw. So that's pretty cool. Um, but mi middle rates is, is probably your best for actually flying. On high rates, the yaw rate can actually be a little bit too much. Um, oh, and then we've got to recalibrate the accelerometer in headless mode. You've got both sticks down left and both sticks down right. I'm not sure which is which, but do both of those and you'll recalibrate both headless and the accelerometer. And I think that's about it. Let me check my notes here. Yep, that's all there is to say about it. So let's go take it for a flight. All right, this is the flight review of the JJRC H20 little ultra micro hexacopter with the swappable battery and this thing has a crazy fast yaw rate on high rates we'll start out on low rates so there's low rate yaw medium high rates <laughs> let's get it back out here in the middle of the room with the prop guards on there spinning like that it looks kind of crazy like a I don't know, like a sombrero or a bowl or something. Do a funnel on high rates. <laughs> Pretty crazy. And there's the low rates again. 
So medium rates is pretty flyable. High rates is just kind of for going crazy and doing stunts with it. Pretty good flyer on medium rates. Try to get a whoa. There's a medium rate funnel. Not bad. Do some flips. Nice, quick, tight flips. It's a pretty cool hex. I just wish the uh, it had you know LEDs out on the motor arms instead of just you know in the body like that. The LEDs are pretty. You know, can't really see them. Flying high rates. Yeah, high, high rates is kind of unflyable because the yaw just spins out on you. Go back to medium rates. Uh oh. Let it sit for a second. I can confuse the accelerometer in that crash. This motor. What happened here? The motor's sticking. Let me get the prop off. See what's going on here. I have another motor die on me. Ah, there we go. I think the prop just got pushed down a little bit too much. It's rubbing on the motor. There we go. So yeah, I mean, other than the LEDs, this thing's pretty awesome. I like it. Touch the ceiling with the prop guard. Let's see. We'll do a little bounce test. Eh, not great, but it did all right. Eh, not bad. Yeah, pretty good. And this does have headless mode. Headless motor return to home. It looks like it's oriented backwards. I tend to bind these facing me so then I forget about headless mode and it ends up sinking it backwards. No real reason to do a night flight with this, so I guess I might as well do it just to prove a point. <laughs> Yeah, those LEDs are pretty pointless. Can't really see them to do for orientation. You definitely aren't going to be doing any night flying with this one. Well, I think that's really all there is to show. So we'll take her in for a landing. Little bounce there, but pretty nice. All right, well, there we go. That's the JJRC H20 or the H2O Aqua Hex. <laughs> so, anyway, that's a little ultra micro. It's got the swappable battery, so that's pretty cool. The LEDs just will leave a little bit to be desired, but otherwise, I quite like it. All right, well, check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.